This is uh, Boris Karloff, right? Tales of Mystery. It came from below in a burst of fury. We're not going to read this story. I, I read this whole thing. It was really good. And this was a really good story as well, right? But I thought I'd read something that could be relevant to us as well, based on a lot of theories going around, right? And this book came out 1976, right? So this is Boris Karloff, Tales of Mystery, number 71, October 1976, it came out, okay? And we're going to go to, this was a great, this was Boris Karloff, fantastic series, by the way, fantastic series, right? Great short stories, uh, intelligent, science fiction, fantasy, uh, human stories, very cool, very cool, okay? But we're going to read this one. Gathering, so I did this, okay? Like I called it alien, but it's related to a lot of other things too. Okay. Elder God, you found it, you rock. <laughs> so we're going to read this story. Boris Karloff, Tales of Mystery, Gathering of the Clan. It's about five pages or so, five or six pages. Deep underground, a strange meeting begins. Hear me, children, children of Zarag. There is a spy among us. Cult meeting. A spy, he must be exposed quickly. A, and what quicker way to expose him than by revealing they start taking off their masks. Our true selves. So this is reminiscent of they live right and they live the movie came out in 1980s i believe and this is 1976 that we say right and i wonder what they live uh, is based on the movie so here's a little intro by this person right and he's the main character of what's going on a rather eerie way to start proceedings wouldn't you say or oh, for one man however it is not only the beginning but also perhaps the end to learn how he came upon this madness let us look in on a meeting that took place some days earlier in the publisher's office of a in the publisher's office of a major metropolitan newspaper daily chronicle imagine what a story it'll make mr crane when i expose their deepest secrets what's the big deal archer crackpot cults are a dime a dozen nowadays yes but this is the most exclusive cult of all some of our most respected citizens are members you could be stepping on a lot of wrong toes archer the publisher says or the editor right i'll take my chances mr crane archer replies if you don't like the story i come up with you can always fire me and i can sell it to another newspaper he says and so on the night of the fateful meeting all my leads were right on the button he thinks that cave is their secret meeting place and their uniform makes a great cover for my face 
puts on his robe. But now, as the cultists remove their plastic skins, that's their secret. They're alien beings, every last one of them, he thinks. How did they know a stranger was here? Got to slip out before they they see him, the aliens in the back, right? Going somewhere, brother Zragian? Or is it that you are not from Zrag after all? Who is he? One of them asks. A cheap scandal monger named Peter Archer. Ah, yes. A reporter from the Daily Chronicle, I believe. Shall we tell him who we are? Why not? He will never be able to reveal us to anyone you see mr. Archer we were a small band of criminals banished from the planet Zrag earth is the only other world whose food and climate can sustain us so far we are still in few in number so we must operate undercover posing as respectable citizens but once our population has grown large enough we shall make ourselves known your brains are like those of insects compared with ours come of course with such knowledge you cannot live here leave here alive no wait archer says i won't breathe the word of this i promise i swear please i don't want to die he says Hold. perhaps we should reconsider one of them says if you were suddenly to vanish it might arouse suspicion true and there are other ways to maintain his silence safer ways perhaps you are right one of them says very well you are free to go but remember we will be watching you if you dare try to betray us oh uh, believe me you can trust Pete Archer smiles and waves do you think he will really remain silent one of them asks for you that was the tough toughest con I ever had to pull now to get the story in he says thinks next morning I just got in Archer give me a moment to relax this can't wait mr. C mr. crane it's the hottest story of the century speaking of hot stories is rather warm in here this morning mind if I make myself more comfortable archer er no ah that's much better he says now what is this exciting story you uncovered uh, nothing sir it was all a mistake a mistake gulp that i'll never make again yes peace yes pete archer is finally a believer and you better be one too for there's no telling 
whose alien eyes are watching you.